Hey guys, welcome back to the wood shop. I'm Stoner Erickson from Erickson Design Company. This week we're gonna build a squirrel feeder picnic table. So my wife saw this on Pinterest and she asked me if I could build it and they're really, really cute. And so I thought I'd share it with you guys. So come on in, let's design it. All right, so I've built a lot of, a lot of uh, picnic tables in my life. Uh, so we're just gonna scale that down. And most of this is gonna be out of one and a half by three quarter inch by nine inches. That's gonna be the majority of the pieces. So we're gonna start with four pieces of that. One and a half, one and a half, one and a half by nine inches. Okay, then we're gonna chamfer this edge right here on all the pieces just to make it look a little more pro. Now, we're gonna take a piece of one and a quarter by three quarter inches, and we're gonna make our 45 degree legs. Okay, we're gonna do that on both sides. Then we're gonna take a piece of three quarter by three quarter, and we're gonna make a ledger board that goes across it and then another one and a half by nine inches by three quarters, and it's gonna sit on here as the seat. And that's pretty much it. And then we'll paint it a really bright color so when the squirrel's up there, it looks really cool. Now to add the food, we're gonna drill a screw up, straight up through it, and then we're gonna screw down some dry corn on top of that. So, that the squirrel will come run along and he'll come up here and he'll sit up here and he'll be like, Whew, give me that corn. <laughs> it's actually really fun and really simple. To mount this to a tree or to a fence in this far ledger board, we're going to put a couple holes that we will drill some screws into the tree or into the fence. So, pretty fun project. I think it's gonna be fun to build. I think it'll be pretty easy to build. There will be some free plans at the end. So stick around. I'm Stoner Eric from Erickson Design Company. Let's build something. Ta-da! So I'm gonna start by breaking down this piece of three and a half by three quarter inch pressure treated lumber. Um, I want to use treated wood here because it is going to be outside and it'll last way longer. And I'm going to cut the tabletops um, at one and a half inches. Now that I've got them cut, I'm going to tape them together so I can make multiple cuts out of one pass. And I'm going to cut them at nine inches and these will be all the tabletop four pieces at nine inches. I'm gonna grab the joiner and I'm gonna put a chamfer in the edge. I'm gonna bring the fence back to three quarters of an inch and I'm gonna run these through and just take a little chamfer out. So this will make it look like a real picnic table scale down, like a dollhouse or something. Now there's a couple ways I could attach these together. I could just use glue, which would be strong. I could use pocket holes, which would be a waste of material. And I'm going to use the biscuit joiner. Um, it's gonna be super strong. It's gonna help them keep them flat and level together. And I'm gonna use one joint for each one. Now as I glue them up here, I'm gonna put a little paper on the clamps just to keep the glue off the clamps. Optional, of course. Now uh, glue them up and butt the ends up against each other that don't have glue just to glue them all at the same time. Now keep in mind this is a real wood shop and things do happen. Um, I'm going to try to put it, flip this over and put a clamp on the other side um, so that it has equal pressure. I always tend to laugh it off. That was pretty funny. So I'll just, don't worry about it, flip them back over and just slow down and clamp them back up again. But that's an example of that 
you see stuff on YouTube and it looks like, oh, they're so good at it. Everyone makes mistakes. We're just having fun in the shop. And now I'll put the top bar clamp on after I clean up the glue and then I'll let this set for about an hour and then the tops will be easy to handle. Now I'm gonna cut the three quarter inch by three quarter inch ledger boards that's gonna hold the bench top and I'm gonna cut the seats and the legs at one and a quarter inches. On the saw here, I'm gonna cut the 45 on both sides and on the actual saw, I made a mark where it goes. That way I can just slide it into it. I don't have to measure each piece. And I'll do the same with the ledger board and the same with the bench top. Just make a mark on the saw and then slide the piece into it. I'm gonna cut a 22 and a half degree angle on the ledger board just to give it that little bit more detail. Next, I'm gonna use a scrap piece of wood and mark three quarters in so I know where to lay the legs and then stack them up like a cabinet, all the pieces together. I am using Tight Bond 3, which is a water resistant glue for outside. Then I'll just put a little putty in the nail holes and then I'll just rinse and repeat. I'm going to play the top of these and then I'm going to get ready to sand them. I'm going to actually drill the hole out where the screw is going to go. That way it's ready to go. Plus the screw coming up from the bottom to hold the piece of corn. So all the holes are drilled before I paint it. And when I ship these, they'll have some screws ready just to mount. So you pull it out of the box and just screw it right to a tree or a fence. So here they are, the four. We're gonna get ready to paint these on the tabletop. So we're gonna cover it with paper and kind of get it organized. Now I'm lucky here, my wife likes to be in the shop with me. So she came out and helped me paint and uh, I could teach her a few things. She's wearing a mask to keep the, the spray paint out of her nose. I am not, so that was my bad. But she's very organized and it's really a delight to have her in the shop. It's a lot of fun working with her out here. Was that fun or what? Super fun, super easy project. The reason why I painted them such a bright color is because you want to see them from far away and they are like a little piece of art for your backyard. Make sure you don't hang it too high where you can't get at the corn and make sure you don't hang it too low that your dog's gonna get at the squirrels. Now to add the corn is super easy because we have put pre-drilled this screw in here. You just pop this down on top of it. Now I have seen a squirrel run away with the whole piece of corn before so that could happen. Um, you know, we've got some new swag coming out right here um, at, on Streamlabs. Coffee cups, get your uh, squirrely stoner, coffee cups, squirrely stoner shirt um, and support the channel. Um, we've also got a hyperlink to the music in this video in the description below. So check it out if you want to listen to some of that music. It's pretty rad. Also, right after this, there's going to be the 3D rendering and the cut list so you can make this yourself. So watch that if you want to write that down and have access to that all the time. So I can't thank you guys enough for your support. I'm having so much fun in my shop and it's, I'm very grateful to be able to share it with you. If you enjoy it, comment below. If you build one of these, get at me. I would love to hear a comment from you. If you want one of these, 
comment and get after me. I'd love to hear from you as well. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. Support the channel. I'm Stoner Erickson from Erickson Design Company, and we built something.